last pass, actually, nor pass, none of the above. After eight years, I think I'm close to switching to something new, and today I'll share why I've used my password manager for so long, what's on the horizon, and all of the things I'd suggest you factor into your password management to keep yourself safe online. So for the last eight years, I've been using a password manager called KeyPass, and I'll touch on what I'm looking to move to in a sec, but the context is important. KeyPass is an open source, by default, offline password manager that's designed around being an open ecosystem. Similar to how you can use different email clients to still send emails from the same account, you can access your KeyPass database from any KeyPass client, and they range in all shapes, sizes, and operating systems. Some add syncing capabilities for you to sync, or you can manually sync independent of the client, and I've covered how to use KeyPass a lot more in a dedicated tutorial from like years ago. Essentially, as long as you have your encrypted KeyPass database, which is just this file, your password to get in, and one of the many KeyPass clients, you're in and you're using KeyPass. Now the pros to KeyPass, it's open source, gives you tons of control, because again, you kind of have to figure it out yourself. It doesn't really get much more safe than KeyPass, which kind of should be one of your largest, if not your largest priority in a password manager. And with the right client, it can be a pretty good experience. Shout out to Strongbox and KeyPass XE, which are my favorite KeyPass clients that I think do the best job at making it a great experience. Now there are cons. First, I think it's pretty messy in the fact that you have to find a client that interacts with the database and it's, it's different on every operating system, what you can pick and choose. It's just messier. Second, syncing is always a mixed bag by default. Again, most KeyPass clients won't sync for you and the ones that do still normally depend on a third-party cloud provider and it's just not as clean as something that takes care of everything in-house. There's also no true cross-platform KeyPass clients. Uh, I think AuthPass came the closest and it's not even compatible with the modern encryption my database uses, so I don't know if that's a real option. All this context is important because for all these years, I just haven't found anything that really gave my KeyPass configuration a run for its money, which is nothing. Until now. See, beforehand, most password managers were just never a consideration for me from a basic security standpoint, and the two alternatives I did consider to KeyPass were 1Password and Bitwarden. Um, which are both great options, but I just didn't really vibe with either of their feature sets and their user interfaces, which actually felt like a downgrade in my life compared to my KeyPass clients. Until ProtonPass hit the scene, which I've been testing for random new accounts the last several months alongside KeyPass. Now, ProtonMail has a long history of being a privacy and security focused email provider, and that's what they've been known for, and they've been slowly expanding into their other products, sometimes in my opinion, too quickly, with a major lack of attention to detail and seamlessness between its offerings, where different features are offered on one client but not on another client. And I kind of expected a similar treatment for Proton Pass, and that's kind of what I said in my review. But can I just say how wrong I was about the doubts I had? Um, beyond my belief in many other people, Proton Pass has been releasing features like nobody's business, even as like the day before I recorded this, um, it integrates decently well with simple login aliases, so you can generate infinite emails on a per site basis. It has beautiful integration within your browser with a click of a button, and as of late, they even support pass keys for those who want to be entirely passwordless. I wish I could turn off this prompt though, because I don't actually use the pass keys uh, functionality, and it gets in the way of my YubiKey. Uh, workflow, but that's a nitpick. It's open source, they've been pretty responsive when it comes to patching security issues discovered by researchers, and I honestly just don't think there's a single Proton product, not even the original Proton Mail, that has such a solid feature parity across all clients, operating systems, browsers, and more, with the constant dedication to new features. The benefits it has over KeyPass are one, simplicity and better integration with my browser workflow. So KeyPass does a really bad job of browser integration in general, leaving it up to every KeyPass client to figure it out for itself, and I've had some really buggy experiences with the ones I've tried. I, I don't think anyone who loves themselves will be trying this process because it's really tedious and it's really just finicky. Proton Pass is perfect within your browser, making it stupid easy for anyone to manage passwords almost automatically. It's actually hard not to use it. Two, there's direct integration with email aliasing, which KeyPass, as far as I know, has no native support for on any provider, on any clients, as far as I'm aware. Someone let me know if there is something I've missed. 
Three, Proton Pass is still free with an asterisk because that's in the context of me being a Proton subscriber. So if you're a Proton subscriber, you're not paying any more for Proton Pass most likely. But if you're not in the Proton suite, this now becomes obviously a con because Key Pass is actually free, entirely free in any situation, uh, unless you're paying for a paid client. But again, Proton Pass, uh, if you're already in the Proton suite, which I feel like a lot of our viewers and many other people who are privacy focused already are, then it's kind of free for you. And for this true cross-platform support, those who've been watching TechLore for a while know I'm always going to ask if a service uh, locks me into an ecosystem or frees me from an ecosystem. While yes, KeePass has zero central ecosystem forcing you to pick and choose different KeePass clients for different operating systems on mobile and desktop, I think it does ultimately lose to the next best thing, which is a central unified experience that also exists on every major operating system. Um, which in my eyes actually makes Proton Pass a more compelling option for keeping my browser and operating system workflows open to change because it's the same software and the same client on all operating systems. Another way to word this is Proton Pass will never be the reason why I and most likely anyone else can't move to a new laptop, a new phone, a new browser. I mean, it even has a web app now, so as long as you can access a browser, you should be able to access your passwords. So it's pretty awesome. So the next question uh, you probably are all asking is, why haven't I switched yet if it seems all fine and dandy? Well, change is hard, uh, and it's hard for me too. I'm not immune to that. So aside from it just being hard, I do have a couple reservations. First, I use the Proton Suite for a couple other things like email. And so I need to think about the fact that this will all be under the same account and how that impacts my safety. Uh, in a corporate environment, a lot of times you have to be careful with email attacks because uh, a lot of email providers are also tied to things like cloud storage and anything else. And so you need to really consider this in your threat model. Well, since this is all part of the same suite, how do I protect it? And do I keep my Proton credentials inside Proton Pass? How does that all work? Those are kind of the questions going through my head. I need to figure that out, as most people probably should. This is the second issue. I do fear entering a subscription ecosystem, even if it's effectively free, considering I pay for the entire suite and Proton Pass doesn't increase the cost. Um, the beauty of something like KeePass is it's truly free and it gives you ultimate control over your own database and no one can really take that away from you. But with Proton Pass, I am guaranteeing that I will have to maintain a Proton subscription for years on end, which is an issue I dig further into every time I generate a new email alias on it. Because if something goes wrong, I really struggle to imagine what the workflow would look like to leave Proton Pass, which is a little bit of a scary concept. And the situation that keeps going through my head is yes, Proton overall has a solid reputation, big fan of what they're doing, but what if they do something really bad in a year? then I'm not gonna love this Proton Pass thing as much as I love KeePass. So uh, those are my two reservations and I'm gonna be reflecting on them before I formally decide what to do. So what does this mean for you? Well, first, please use trusted password managers. They're storing so much sensitive data and you wanna make sure you're going with a reputable company. So we know LastPass just isn't an option. Please, if you care about yourself, you care about your safety, you won't be using LastPass. Generally, we recommend KeePass, Bitwarden, and ProtonPass, all three of which are open source, the latter two both being cloud-based. And then there's also 1Password, which is not open source, but has an amazing reputation within the security community. You really can't go wrong with any of these options, and I suggest trying them to see what clicks best with you and your workflow. Each of these password managers have different features for different types of users. So I think it's really important to get some experience with each of these platforms before using them for your passwords and committing to it for years. But even then, just keep in mind, every password manager that I just listed makes it pretty easy to import and export your data. So it's actually not a huge deal to try one for a month and move to another one if you don't like that one anymore. Just don't purchase an annual subscription or anything. So yeah, I felt this video is a good opportunity for me to praise Proton for doing a great job with Proton Pass, as well as an opportunity to remind people what to look for in a password manager. If you want to give Proton Pass a shot, I have two links down below. One is an affiliate link that gives us a small cut to support this content at no additional cost to you. And then we also include a standard link so you get to make the choice whether or not to support us. We appreciate you clicking the affiliate link if you try Proton, but the regular option is down there too. I want to thank our patrons for supporting this content. You can join the list of beautiful names down below at patreon.com slash techlore. 
and you'll be in our next outro. And I'll see you all next time on TechLore. Peace out.